you very much, Mr. Speaker. The government's plan to give pharmaceutical firms access to pseudo-anonymised data from GP practices in England is creating public concern and distrust, just like the failed Care.Data project of 2013. Most patients would be happy to see better communication and information sharing within the NHS, as well as for public health and academic research, but are concerned about commercial access to their data. So will the minister halt the process to allow time for genuine debate and public consultation? Thank you very much indeed. Um, I know that the honourable member and I are both passionate about the use of data to enhance patient care, as she outlined. That is the prize here. We are listening. We are taking our time. The data will only be used for health and care planning and research purposes by organisations who have a legal basis and legitimate need to use the data, and NHS Digital will publish all the details that, of the data that we've shared on our data release register. We want to build confidence. We want to build trust. We are listening, but this is an important agenda that we need to get right to deliver better care for patients. The problem is the plan to allow commercial access is going to undermine the public trust in improving digitisation within the NHS, and the Minister will be aware of that. The current plans only apply to the NHS in England, but can she guarantee the Internal Market Act won't be used to force commercial access to patient data from Scotland's NHS? And if so, can she explain why the Department for International Trade is advertising access to the health data of 65 million people, which is the population of the whole UK? Minister. Thank you very much indeed. I would go back to the answer I gave that we do not allow data to be used for commercial purposes. NHS Digital will not re approve requests for data where the purposes is for marketing purposes and so on and so forth. She would not expect me to respond on behalf of another, of another department, but I would reiterate that we are communicating, we are building trust, there will be a public information campaign and we will be working across the professions and across research to make sure that access is appropriate and proportionate. And we will also, in bringing forward in the uh, Health and Social Care Bill, we will be redoubling down on our efforts to make sure people um, have, that excuse me, have that confidence. Shut up.